Hey guys, it's Kedrick Guru HD here, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to root your Nexus 4 on a Mac. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to make you're going to want to make sure you guys have the stock LG um, USB to the phone charger, and then you're also going to make sure you have your Mac ready charged and your Nexus 4 um, just about fully charged also. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go into the description and find the link to this website, Android Roots. Dot com. So we're just basically going to be going following following the steps, and I'm going to show you guys um, step by step how to do this. I'm going to be doing it with you guys. That way, it isn't one of those reviews where someone's already got the phone rooted and they're kind of just telling you what to do. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to step four and download this root nexus 4.zip. So I'm just going to open this link in a new tab, and we're going to install this. So, it's a small file, so it should only take a couple of minutes. Almost done. And once we have this open, we're going to go ahead and unzip this. Okay, now that it's done, we're going to hit it. And that should already um, unzip it, and we're going to go find this in our downloads. So we're going to go to downloads. And I'm going to zoom in on this. We're going to see in our download section, root Nexus 4. And I'm just going to drag and drop this all the way down into the corner of the screen. So there we got it on our desktop. And we're ready to go. So now we're just going to go to step one. And of course you guys are going to need to back up your phone if it isn't already. Um, this will pretty much erase every single thing on your device. So. Um, keep that in mind when doing this. We're going to go into our settings all the way down to the bottom to about phone and we're going to double hit this or we're going to hit this about like 10 times until it says that you are a developer. Next we're going to go down here right above about phone you should see developer options. If you don't go ahead and hit that um, the phone model number or whatever another 10 times. Now we're going to go and check USB debugging hit OK and basically that just gives our phone access to uh, or our computer access to our phone anyway, anyway we're just going to power this off and we are going to manually put this into bootloader mode and then into recovery mode okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to hold down all three fingers on the volume rockers and the power button. So once it once the phone starts vibrating, I'm gonna let go of this. Let go of the power button and keep holding down on the volume rockers. And here we are. So next we're going to plug in our phone to the computer. And since we've already downloaded and extracted the root nexus 4 zip we're good with that and we've moved it to the folder and next we're going to go into our terminal so we have terminal right here and all you guys have to do to uh, get to it is go into applications and then just search search up terminal okay guys since I'm not going to be able to be I'm not going to be able to zoom in and get a clear view right here you're going to want to make sure that you you do have this page open and you guys can really just copy and paste this stuff into the terminal. So we're just going to go right here. Oops. Right click copy, go back into our terminal and paste it. Then hit enter. Copy CD root nexus 4. Some reason I can't right click, copy it, go back into the terminal, paste it, hit enter, and then right here this should unlock your bootloader. Right click again, copy, go into the terminal, terminal, right click, paste, 
and you should see the dot 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 and then on your phone you should see this if you unlock the bootloader you'll be able to install custom operating system software on the raw on the on this phone yada 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 and of course you guys are going to want to make sure that you guys know that this uh, voids your warranty and if you guys are okay with that definitely hit yes unlock bootloader and you're good with unlocking the bootloader so next we're going back into the terminal copy and paste this again Of course, this is much easier than uh, rooting on a PC. So you're going to see OK. Then um, we're going to keep going. Then we're going to hit the power button on our phone. And we are in Clockwork Mod Recovery. So now we're going to, or here, here, let me just give you guys a rundown of how to actually operate in Clockwork Mod. So basically, basically all you guys have to do is um, hit the volume rockers down to go down, up to go up, and then the power button is to uh, select. So we're going to go into wipe data slash factory reset, and then hit yes. Then we're going to go to reboot system now. So now we're just going to get ready for this. So once our phone finishes booting, we're going to transfer the Clockwork Mod Super, S Super SU user zip, which is located in the root Nexus 4 folder, to your phone. Nexus 4. Okay, one more thing we gotta download, guys. We gotta download the Android file transfer. Open link new tab and hit download now. We're gonna wanna keep this and just open that right up. Drop this into applications. Very easy now, like I said earlier, we're going to, once our phone finished the booting, just did, we're going to drop the Clockwork Mod Super SU into our using the Android file transfer. Go ahead and open that. We're going to drag and drop that other file into here. So we're going to go to our desktop, make sure it is saved on our desktop, and then just drag and drop this onto the phone. So now that we have that on there, and we're going to power this back off. And then reboot back into recovery mode again, hold all three down, and then let go of the power. So we're just going to go down twice with our volume rockers. We're going to see start, then hit down one, down one, recover mode. And we should see install from zip card. We're going to choose choose zip from SD card. And then we're going to go into zero. And then all the way down at the bottom, or whatever folder we saved it in, we should see this zip. 
And then basically what we are going to do is we're going to hit yes. We want to install that zip. And then we're going to go and reboot system now. So we're just going to go fly right through all this stuff. And your phone should be rooted. Congrats guys for rooting your phone. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and check out my Nexus 4 case reviews, unboxing, and all of those things. Um, I really enjoyed rooting this phone, and hopefully you guys will enjoy it too. I'm going to have a bunch of ROM videos, how to install a ROM on the Nexus 4, um, AOKP, all the different ROMs I'm going to be doing reviews, showing the different user inter interfaces, and all that stuff. So be sure to subscribe for all of that stuff. I want to thank you guys for watching one more time, and I will catch you guys in the next one.